Hello, it's me, Michael. Welcome back. I know it has been quite a while since we uploaded any new radiography content. I'm really, really sorry about that. I've been working on some other projects, but I'm back now. I've also been getting the comments and feedback that you've been leaving on our old videos, and I have to tell you I'm really grateful for all the support and love. Thank you very much, and I promise I am back with bigger and better radiography content. Also, while we were away, I was thinking of ways to make the channel more catchy and enjoyable. One major thing to take note of is our new name. We'll be going from EPS Radiography to Radiography Simplified, because that's what this channel is about, simplifying radiography for everybody. We'll give it some time before we officially rename the channel to allow our followers and subscribers get familiar with the new name. Also, take note of the new logo. Nice, right? While we dive into our very first set of videos as Radiography Simplified, please hit subscribe if you haven't already. This will keep you updated with all of our new stuff. Now let's dive in. The first Radiography Simplified playlist is about an important concept in radiography called radiation biology. It's normally taught at the undergraduate level as a single course, but is a specialty of its own at the postgraduate level. Your level of understanding of this course will sort of uh, influence you to practice safer, especially when you work with modalities that operate on the principles of ionizing radiation, examples being CT scanners, X-ray, and radiation therapy suites. Now, who are these videos for? I basically prepared this course with the undergraduate radiography student in mind. But, the videos will also cater for practicing radiographers, medical physicists, biomedical engineers, and anyone else who is curious about the relationship between radiation and biology. So if you fall into any of these categories, this series is for you. I understand that you might have had some difficulty in the past with some intense concepts of radiation biology. Don't worry, I will keep things as simple as possible in this series. I will essentially hold your hand and walk you through all those crazy concepts. At the end of this series, you would have a good grip of radiation biology. So follow the videos and enjoy the ride. Here's how we're gonna have it. I've split the concepts of radiation biology into 11 subtopics. So we'll have about 11 videos in this playlist. We already started out with an introduction in this first video. Next, we go over some high school biology. Because I mean, you can't talk about radiobiology without knowing some actual biology. So in section two, we'll talk about the cell theory and parts of the eukaryotic cell. From section three to five, we'd explore the types of radiation, the interactions of radiation with matter, and the actions of radiation on living cells. In section six, we'll talk about certain terms that are associated with the distribution of dose. Then in section seven, we'll return to high school biology where we talk about the cell cycle and how it relates to radiation biology. Section eight covers a concept called the survival curve. And section nine talks about the effects of radiation at tissue level. In the last two sections, we discuss two terms called the deterministic and stochastic effects of radiation. Radiation biology, simply put, is the study of the action of radiation on living tissues. Now that we've got the introduction out of the way, we dive deeper by looking at the cell theory in the next section. Stay tuned.